Hey, what's up, everybody? Sydney here with The Rink Live. We have a huge week coming up for Minnesota hockey as the Boys State High School Tournament is coming our way at the end of this week. So I'm going to be letting you know who made the tournament, what seeds they are, and what teams are playing who and when down at the XL Energy Center in St. Paul. So why don't we get started with Class Single A. In Class Single A, the first matchup of the quarterfinals will be on Wednesday at 11 a.m. The first game of the day is going to be played by unseeded Monticello. They ended up making their way to the state tournament. They upset Little Falls in their section and then went on to win the section final against St. Cloud Cathedral. So now they're at the XL Energy Center on Wednesday. But they will be taking on the number two seed in War Road. And the Warriors have had a really dominant year this year. It's going to be tough for Monticello to get past War Road, but don't count them out quite yet. The next game of the day on Wednesday for Class Single A at 1 p.m. is going to be Mankato East. They are unseeded, taking on the number three seed in Matamidi. Mankato East has had a really good season this year, but so has Matamidi. They've got one of the best goaltenders in high school hockey with Ben Dardis, so it's going to be hard for Mankato East to get past him, but it should be a great matchup nevertheless. Moving on to the 6 p.m. matchup for Class Single A, we see unseeded New Prague. They get the unlucky draw, getting number one Hermantown in the quarterfinals. Now, Hermantown has had just an amazing year this year. They've got a lot of talent. They can score goals, and they're easily one of the best teams, if not the best team in the tournament. That's why they have the number one seed, and they're ranked number one in the state. So watch out for Hermantown. It's going to be a tough matchup for New Prague. And then the last game of the day for the Class A quarterfinals at 8 p.m. It's going to be a fun game for sure. It's the number four and the number five seed. Number four seed this year going to Minneapolis. It's their first time back at the state tournament in 28 years. It's been a while, but it's nice to see them back once again. So Minneapolis, the four seed, will take on number five in Alexandria and the Cardinals. Now the Alexandria Cardinals have had a pretty good season. They've been getting hot when they need to be, and they've been winning games when they need to be. And Minneapolis as well has had a really solid season. So this is going to be a very interesting matchup. That 4-5 game is always just a battle between both teams. So either of those teams could honestly come out on top. And for Class Single A, whoever wins those quarterfinal games will move on to the semifinals. Those will be played on Friday with the championship game on Saturday. And now let's move on to Class AA. Now in Class AA, their quarterfinals will be played on Thursday, but at the same times at 11, 1, 6, and 8. So the first matchup of the day on Thursday at 11 a.m. is going to be played between unseeded Prior Lake and number two seed Creighton Durham Hall. And while you might already think that, well, the two seed would probably win against an unseeded team, Think again, this should be a really great game. Prior Lake has been getting hot when they need to. They have a Mr. Hockey finalist in Alex Bump who has been playing outstanding this year. And Creighton Durham Hall is a tough team as well. They've got another great goaltender uh, and they're just a really great team. They can score goals. Uh, they, they have a great goaltender who can stop goals. So this is gonna be an absolute battle. It should be a great game at 11, uh, once again, between Prior Lake and Creighton Durham Hall. The next game of the day at 1 p.m., that's going to be between Edina, who is unseeded this year, against number three, Maple Grove. And again, this should be a great game. Edina, pretty solid season as usual. Uh, but the Hornets might have a tough matchup with number three seed Maple Grove. Maple Grove, very fast team. I saw them play in their section final, uh, and they answer, answer back very quickly every time someone scores a goal against them. So again, this matchup could honestly go either way. The Hornets have been playing very good. The Crimson have been playing really good. We'll just have to wait and see who comes out on top. Moving over to the later games that day for the Class AA quarterfinals. At 6 p.m., we have Lakeville South, the unseeded team, taking on number one, Hill Murray. Hill Murray has definitely been a really great team this year. That's why they're the number one seed. It seems like they're definitely going to be the favorite here, taking on unseeded Lakeville South. But it still should be an interesting game here for 6 o'clock. And then the 8 p.m. game, again, those four or five seed games are always so fun. This one is going to be between number four seed Moorhead. They're going to be taking on the number five seed Andover. And again, this game could go either way. Andover has been having a really great year. They've got a lot of really great players, a lot of really talented players. And Moorhead as well, they've got one of the most dangerous lines out there in hockey right now that's just amazing at scoring goals. So it really could go either way. Class AA this year just... Uh, it's a lot harder to predict and we're just going to have to wait and see who comes out on top because there should be a ton of amazing matchups. And their semifinals will also be played on Friday with the championship game on Saturday night. 
So that's all we have here for your Minnesota Boys State High School Hockey Preview. Uh, we hope to see you out there at some of the games on Wednesday through Saturday. And make sure to stay tuned to our social media channels like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all of those outlets to uh, keep up to date with all of the scores and everything happening at the state tournament this week. Reporting for The Rink Live, I'm Sydney Wolf.